Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Horn Lake High School's 2023 Senior Night. Tonight, we will honor our student athletes who have committed countless hours, time, and energy to this community through their participation in Horn Lake High School's extracurriculars. We will begin by honoring our seniors on the football team. First up is Marcus Berry. Marcus is being escorted by his mother, Alicia, and his dad, Marcus. His plans after high school are to go to college and pursue a career in real estate. Ladies and gentlemen, Marcus Berry. Next, we have senior Brandon Brooks, Jr. Brandon is being escorted tonight by his parents, Brandon Brooks Sr. and Terrica Brooks. During his time at Horn Lake, he was a member of the National Honor Society, and he will also be playing in the Bernard Blackwell All-Star Game in December. His plans after graduation include attending college to play football and majoring in business management. La ladies and gentlemen, Brandon Brooks Jr. Next we have Johnny Butler II. Tonight he is being escorted by Marquita and Johnny Butler. During his time at Horn Lake, he was the Defensive Player of the Week for Lafayette, and he was 6th in 7A region for sacks and 12th in the Division 7A region for sacks. His plans after graduation include attending college to major in petroleum engineering with an emphasis in finance, and he wants to play college football. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Butler. Next we have Quintrell Carmichael. Tonight he is being escorted by Mia Carmichael and Quentin Carmichael. His plans after graduation include going to Delta Tech to get a CDL and then to a four-year college to major in business. Ladies and gentlemen, Quintrell Carmichael. Next we have Rodrian Fairley. Tonight he is being escorted by Gabriel Alexander and Rodriguez Fairley Sr. His plans after high school include attending college and playing football. Ladies and gentlemen, senior Rodrian Fairley. <laughs> Next we have Marquise Henderson. Tonight he is being escorted by his mom, Corica Williams, and dad, Mitchell Henderson. During his time at Horn Lake High School, he was an A and B honor student, and his plans after high school are going to Bellhaven University to play football and major in business administration. Ladies and gentlemen, Marquise Henderson. Next, we have senior Jonathan Johnson. Tonight, he is being escorted by his mom and dad, Charlene and John Johnson. During his time at Horn Lake High School, he was involved in Eagle Vision TV, the bowling team, player of the week, and second team all region. His plans after graduation include pursuing my football career during college. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Johnson. Next we have Nathaniel Johnson. Tonight he is being escorted by his mom, Evelyn Williams. His plans after graduation include joining the United States Army. Ladies and gentlemen, Nathaniel Johnson. Next we have Daquan Kendall. Tonight he is being escorted by Daryl Kendall Sr. and Latrin Kendall. During his time at Horn Lake High School, he was a proud part of the HLHS football team, boasted a 3.4 GPA, a dedicated football player since five years old, and his plans after high school include attending college and his major will be accounting slash financing. Ladies and gentlemen, Daquan Kendall. Next, we have Nicholas Mayfield. Tonight, he is being escorted by Roderick and Nancy Mayfield. His plans after graduation include attending Mississippi State University and majoring in animation graphic design. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicholas Mayfield. Next, we have senior Quaylen Payne. 
Tonight he is being escorted by his parents, Akina Richards and Ronnie Payne. His plans after high school include attending college, playing football, and expanding his horizons to develop new skills. Ladies and gentlemen, Quaylen Payne. Next, we have John Randall Jr. Tonight, he is being escorted by John Randall and Katina Williams. During his time at Horn Lake High School, he was a member of the National Honor Society, first team all-region football, and will be participating in the Bernard Blackwell North-South All-Star Game. His plans after graduation include attending Purdue University to play football and majoring in mechanical engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, John Randall Jr. Next, we have Takaris Rose. Tonight, he is being escorted by his mom, Ida Smith, and stepfather, Douglas Fentress. His plans after graduation include attending Ole Miss to major in business management. Ladies and gentlemen, Tykaris Rose. Next, we have senior Dwayne White Jr. Tonight, he is being escorted by Lavondra White and Dwayne White Sr. During his time at Horn Lake High School, he was a part of the first round playoffs as a freshman. His plans after graduation include going to the Coast Guard trade school to stay tight in his own business. Ladies and gentlemen, Dwayne White. Next, we have senior Tony Yates Jr. He's being escorted by Latte Bowman. His plans after high school include going to college to play football or be a truck driver. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Yates Jr. Next, we have football videographer Destiny Christie. Tonight, she is being escorted by her mother, Alex Christie. During her time at Horn Lake High School, she was the secretary of the National Honor Society, and she was a part of the Horn Lake softball team for three years. Her plans after high school include going to Mississippi State University to major in engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, Destiny Christie. We will now honor members of the Horn Lake High School dance team. First, we have senior Jada King. Tonight, she is being escorted by her mother, Taisha Windham. During her time at Horn Lake High School, she was a member of the International Thespian Society. She was also a member of the Drama Club. Her plans after high school include attending college at the University of Southern Alabama. Ladies and gentlemen, Jada King. Next, we have senior Chelsea McCoy. Tonight, she is being escorted by her mom, Shonda McCoy, and her dad, Shad McCoy. During her time at Horn Lake High School, she was captain of the dance team for two years, a member of the softball team, and a member of the National Honor Society. After she graduates high school, her plans are to major in nursing at Alcorn State University. Ladies and gentlemen, Chelsea McCoy. We will now honor members of the Horn Lake High School cheerleading team. First, we have senior Amisha Garrett. Tonight, she is being escorted by her mom, LaQuinta Henderson, and her dad, Derek Garrett. During her time at Horn Lake High School, she has been a member of the Horn Lake Varsity Cheer Team for two years, a member of Student Council, and she has a 3.5 GPA. Her plans after high school include going to Southern University in Baton Rouge, Louisiana to major in nursing and to later be a neonatal nurse. Ladies and gentlemen, Amisha Garrett. Next, we have senior Kyla Gladney. Tonight, she is being escorted by Tyra Ferguson and her sister, Denia Gladney. During her time at Horn Lake High School, she had the highest GPA on the cheer team she was an honor member of the Choir Treble Ensemble, a part of the NAACP, and she was given the honor to perform the flute solo of the 2023-2024 marching season. Her plans after high school include attending Delta Tech to get her cosmetology license. Ladies and gentlemen, Kyla Gladney. 
Next, we have senior Shateris Gar Gordon. Tonight, she is being escorted by Zyla Jackson. During her time at Horn Lake High School, she was a member of the student council, been cheering since the middle school, has a 3.8 GPA, and she tutors kids at the MR Dye Public Library in Horn Lake. Her plans after high school include attending the University of California to major in fine arts. Ladies and gentlemen, Shateris Gordon. Next, we have senior Maya Hawkins. She is being escorted by her mom, Michelle Greer, and father, Wendell Hawkins. During her time at Horn Lake High School, she was in the choir ensemble and has been a part of the choir for seven years. She is the vice president of the NAACP Youth District, attends the Joffrey Ballet School in New York, and has been on the cheer team for six years. Her plans after high school include going to New York University for physical therapy and a minor in performing arts. Ladies and gentlemen, Maya Hawkins. Next, we have senior Manaya Hayes. Tonight, she is being escorted by Cassandra Wilkins and Robert Hayes. During her time at Horn Lake High School, she cheered for the Memphis All-Stars for four years, had a 3.4 GPA, and was a member of New Zion for two years. After high school, her plans are to attend the University of Memphis to major in nursing. Ladies and gentlemen, Manaya Hayes. And finally, we have senior Jacharia Warren. She's being escorted tonight by Patrice Jefferson and Justin Heron. During her time at Horn Lake High School, she was a part of the Horn Lake Varsity Cheer Team for three years, second lieutenant in the MCJROTC as a LC4, a member of the Dynasty Elite Majorette Dance Team for over two years, and had a 3.7 GPA as an honor roll student. After high school, she plans to attend Alcorn State University to earn a bachelor's degree and enter med school to become an obstetrician gynecologist. Ladies and gentlemen, Jatoria Wilson Warren. At this time, we will recognize our seniors as a part of the MCJROTC program. First, we have Ravius Benson. Being escorted tonight by her mother, Amanda Ross, and father, Razius Benson. During her time at Horn Lake High School, she was a member of the National Honor Society, the Horn Lake Student Council, obtained the rank of cadet captain in the MCJROTC, and is serving as the company commander. Her plans after high, high school include enlisting in the United States Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, Ravius Benson. Next, we have Tierney Clayton. Tonight, she is being escorted by her mother, Samantha Freeman, and brother, Brandon Freeman. During her time at Horn Lake High School, she was an active in the competitive running and participates in community 5K runs, intends to graduate early in December, has attained the rank of cadet second lieutenant in the MCJROTC, and is serving as the company supply officer. Her plans after graduation include enlisting in the United States Marine Corps with the goal of attending Texas Southern University upon service completion. Ladies and gentlemen, Tierney Clayton. Next, we have senior Tania Coleman. Tonight, she's being escorted by her mother, Ashley Coleman, and sister, Maya Coleman. During her time at Horn Lake High School, she was a member of the Horn Lake Golf Team, the member of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, has obtained the rank of Cadet Staff Sergeant in MCJROTC and is the serving as Company Recruiting Chief. Her plans after graduation include enlisting in the United States Marine Corps and serving as a tanker. Ladies and gentlemen, Tania Coleman. Next, we have Jasmine Connor. She's being escorted tonight by her mother, Kamisha Gregory, and her father, Calvin Connor. During her time at Horn Lake High School, she was a member of the Horn Lake Varsity Volleyball Team, the Horn Lake Student Council, obtained the rank of Cadet First Lieutenant in the MCJROTC, and is serving as Company Executive Officer. Her plans after graduation include playing volleyball and studying to become a pre-K teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, Jasmine Connor. Next, we have Jalen Dones. She's being escorted tonight by her mother, Sonia Crawford. During her time at Horn Lake High School, she is a non-commissioned officers association annual awardee, 
a Horn Lake MC JROTC unarmed regulation drill team captain. She has obtained the rank, rank of Cadet Second Lieutenant in MC JROTC and is serving as a platoon commander. Her plans after graduation include enlisting in the United States Marine Corps and serving in security forces. Ladies and gentlemen, Jalen Dones. Next, we have senior Alicia Jones. She's being escorted tonight by her grandmother, Diane Ward, and cousin, Destiny Jones. During her time at Horn Lake High School, she was a member of the Horn Lake Drama Club, the Horn Lake Speech and Debate Team, obtained the rank of Cadet Sergeant in MCJROTC, and is serving as platoon squad leader. Her plans after graduation include attending Arkansas State University to obtain a Bachelor of Science in Nursing to pursue a career as a registered nurse and CNA. Ladies and gentlemen, Alicia Jones. <laughs> Finally, we have senior Peyton Reed. He's being escorted tonight by his father, Sean Reed, and mother, Laura Reed. During his time at Horn Lake High School, he graduated from the 2023 Mississippi Boys State Session, a team captain of the MCJROTC Color Guard, obtained the rank of Cadet Second Lieutenant in MCJROTC, and is serving as the company armory officer. His plans after graduation include attending Ole Miss where he will major in biological science while participating in the Marine Option NROTC program. Ladies and gentlemen, Peyton Reed. Next, I'd like to introduce our 2023 band seniors. Starting us off. We have Mr. Keelan Anderson. He's being, he's being escorted by Latasia Anderson and Bobby Braxton. His plans after graduation include attending the University of Southern Miss and majoring in polymer, polymer science and engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, Keelan Anderson. Next up, we have senior Joseph Bay. Joseph is being escorted by his mother, Heather Finch, his stepdad, Tanner Finch. Awards and accomplishments while being at Horn Lake include being a member of the Elite Ensemble and Choir, a member of choir and band for four years. His plans after graduation include attending a college to get a degree in oncology. Ladies and gentlemen, Senior Joseph Bay. Next, we have senior Ethan Capilla. Ethan is being escorted by his sister, Brittany Capilla and Amaya Capilla. Ethan plans to attend the University of Memphis after graduation, and that's our Ethan Capilla. Next, we have senior Eric Claros Jr. Eric is being escorted by his father, Eric Claros, mother, Caricia Parada. Eric's accomplishments while at Horn Lake High School include being in the Nation National Honor Society, a member of DECA for Automotive Services Marketing, uh, placed number one melodic percussion in the state of Mississippi in 2021, was nominated Best Male Cameo at the Al Alley Awards for Theater. His plans after graduation include attending the University of North M Texas to major in music education and to become a band director. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Claros Jr. <laughs> Next, we have senior Leslie Dominguez Blanco. <laughs> Leslie is being escorted by her aunt, Stephanie Edmond, and her sister, Kelsey Dominguez. Her awards and accomplishments while at Horn Lake include being in DECA and on the Student Council. Her plans after graduation include going to Northwest Community College. Ladies and gentlemen, Leslie Dominguez Blanco. <laughs> Next, we have senior Chance Franklin. Chance is being escorted by his mother, Gloria Franklin, and his dad, Raymond Franklin. 
Chance's accomplishments while at Horn Lake include being in the National Honor Society, being in the Elite Ensemble Choir, being a member of the Eagle Pride Marching Band, and being on the honor roll. His plans after graduation include going to an HBCU where he will be majoring in engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, Chance Franklin. Next, we have senior band member Arabella Gaskins. She's being escorted tonight by Bobby and Thomas Harms. Her awards and accomplishments include being a three-time member of the Hernando de Soto Honor Band. She, placed, she played in the top band every year at Horn Lake, participated in numerous clubs such as NHS, DECA, and executed multiple leadership positions. After graduation, her plans include majoring in meteorology at the state at Mississippi State with a minor in music. Ladies and gentlemen, Arabella Gaskins. Next, we have senior Kyla Gladney. Kyla is being escorted by her mother and father. Veronata and Michael Gladney and her brother Ethan Gladney. Her awards and accomplishments while at Horn Lake include being a section leader all four years of marching band. She's also graduating with honors. She's a varsity cheerleader and won the best marching award for the 2022-2023 marching season. Her plans after graduation include attending Delta Tech to get her degree in cosmetology and her cosmetology license. See, uh, senior Kyla Gladney. Next, we have senior Jennifer Harris. Jennifer is being escorted by her mom, LaDonna Foster, and her dad, Jermaine Harris. While at Horn Lake, her accomplishments include being a member of the Horn Lake Eagle Pride Marching Band all four years. After graduation, she plans to attend Delta Tech for a degree in esthetician. Gen ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer Harris. Next, we have Senior Jamila Harris. <laughs> Jamila is being escorted by Tanyaka Harris and Dad Wand Wandrichi Harris. Her awards and accomplishments include that she's been a member of the Elite Ensemble Choir for three years. She is in the DeSoto NAACP and she has been in the Eagle Pride Marching Band for two years. Uh, her plans include after, she's been in all four years, we know that. All right, her plans include after graduation, going to Northwest Community College for nursing, then an HBCU for her BSN to pursue being a travel nurse. Ladies and gentlemen, Jamila Harris. <laughs> Next, we have band senior Raul Aniguez. Raul is being escorted by his father, Raul Aniguez, and his mother, Anna Aniguez. Raul's accomplishments while at Horn Lake include being the president of DECA, the president of the National Honor Society, member of the su superintendent's youth leadership, and a member of the mayor's youth council. His plans after graduation include attending the University of Memphis, where he will major in biomedical engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, Raul Aniguez. Next, we have senior Heather Knight. Heather is being escorted by her father, Nicholas Knight. After graduation, Heather plans to head to Northwest Community College for two years, major in biology, and pursue a degree in marine biology. Ladies and gentlemen, Heather Knight. Next, we have senior Gabrielle Lee. Gabrielle is being escorted by her mother, Crystal Beveridge, Ram and Ramsey Searcy. After graduation, 
Gabby plans on going to Northwest to be a paramedic. Ladies and gentlemen, Gabrielle Lee. Next, we have band senior Makaya Lee. Makaya is being escorted by her grandparents, Joe and early in Gerard. The award, her awards and accomplishments include being a member of the Eagle Pride Marching Band since the eighth grade. She is a member of the DeSoto Youth Council, NAACP, Student Council, Mayor's Youth Council, and the DECA Club. Her plans after graduation include going to Mississippi State to major in political science on a pre-med track afterwards, and she plans to go to medical school to become a neurosurgeon. Ladies and gentlemen, band senior Makaya Lee. Next, we have band senior Ivan Mahia. He is being escorted by Lazaro Diaz and Janet Mahia. After graduation, he plans on attending Old Miss. Ladies and gentlemen, Ivan Mahia. Next, we have band senior Taliana Miller. She is being escorted by her mother, Amistia Cost, and Zyla Jones. Her plans after graduation include going to Northwest Community College to major in secondary education for her associate's degree, and then to go and major in literature to get her bachelor's degree. So ladies and gentlemen, Taliana Miller. Next, we have senior Ariana Nicole Randall. Ariana is being escorted by her father, Michael Randall, and Angela Randall, her mother. Her awards and accomplishments include being in the National Honor Society, graduating with a 4.1 GPA, and captain of the color guard team. After graduation, she plans on going to Duke University to become a travel nurse. Ladies and gentlemen, Ariana Randall. Yes, um, sorry, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, next senior is Lee Rogers. He's being escorted by Brianna Graves. After graduation, he plans on earning a bachelor in fish and game management. Ladies and gentlemen, Lee Rogers. Ladies and gentlemen, next is Brenda Torado. She's being escorted by her father, Francisco Franco, and her mother, Sylvia Gonzalez. Her awards and accomplishments include being a member of the Eagle Pride Marching Band and a proud member of DECA, as well as a drum major for the last two years for the marching band. After graduation, her plans include attending the University of Memphis to pursue a degree in music education. Ladies and gentlemen, Brenda Torado. Next, we have band senior Anna Trillett. Anna Trillett is being escorted by her father, Tim Trillett, and her mother, Kim Trillett. Her awards and accomplishments include being a member of the National Honor Society and JROTC. Her plans after graduation include attending Union University and majoring in political silence, science as well as Mandarin. Ladies and gentlemen, Anna Trillett. Next is senior Anaya Ward. She's being escorted by Mr. and Mrs. Jason and Erica Ward. Her awards and accomplishments include, in addition to playing both the trombone and baritone, she has her black belt in Taekwondo. After graduation, she plans on majoring in agricultural technology while continuing to perfect her skills as a tattoo artist. Ladies and gentlemen, Anaya Ward. Next is band senior Trinity Wickfall. She's being escorted by Lillian Robinson and Otis Wickfall. 
Her, her, in, her awards and accomplishments include being an elite ensemble choir member, a member of DECA, and a member of the band and choir for all four years of high school. After graduation, she plans to attend the University of Memphis for a nursing degree. Ladies and gentlemen, Trinity Wickfall. Give it up for your band, seniors.